Hello everyone, this is Jewel Diamond Taylor and I just want to give you a quick thought for the day. I was thinking about how when you want to get on an airplane to go somewhere, you cannot even get on unless you show your identification. There's no way, you can't board. And I was thinking about how sometimes people just try to take off into a new direction, a new business, a new ministry, even a new relationship and they don't even know who they are. They haven't worked on their personal development and self-discovery. They haven't really stopped to really think, who am I and what do I desire and what are my boundaries and what are my core values and how do I see myself? Do I see my strengths? Do I see myself as valuable and worthy? I think this is one of the reasons why I'm called the self-esteem doctor, to help people to know their worth, to know who they are so that other people cannot rob them of their worth and their identity. This is what um, slavery did. It took our identity, our culture, our traditions, our music, our food, our sense of self-respect and self-worth. It was They tried to take it away from us. This is what happens in abusive relationships. Um, when you don't know who you are, it's easily um, you are an easy target for someone to tell you that you are worthless, that you are ugly, that you you're not loved, that you're you're you know you're just ugly, you know that you're just trash. But when you know who you are, mm -mm, you won't absorb that. You won't identify with that. Are you trying to take off into a new relationship? Are you trying to take off into a new direction, a new business, a new ministry, but yet you're still not quite sure who you are? Are you still struggling with childhood issues? Are you still struggling from that past relationship with the past ex said or what the past people said about you and you still don't know who you are? This can be very problematic. This is the work that I do. It's helping people to become one with who they are in God, to understand their value and their worth, to find their voice, to stand on their principles and their core values, and to be able to defend their faith, defend their goals, defend their body, defend their dreams, defend their vision, defend their family, defend their culture. You cannot do that if you don't know who you are. You can't even get on a plane unless you have ID. So let's just use that today as a metaphor that if you are trying to take off in a new relationship and you are still struggling, you know, am I good enough? Am I beautiful? Am I smart? Am I worthy of love? If you're struggling with shame, if you're struggling with finances, if you're struggling um, with drama in your life, it can really challenge who you are. And so this is Jewel Diamond Taylor, and my message to, to you today is to know your identity, know who you are in God, know who you are in spite of your past setbacks, know who you are in spite of past challenges, know who you are in spite of your, your childhood. And, and you may be going through something right now and struggling, looking for a job. You may be in a lot of pain and you're identifying with your illness. Uh, you may be identifying with the job that really really does not meet your purpose and your skill set, but that's not who you are. I tell you, years ago, I had so many different jobs, and I needed those jobs to pay bills. But I did not identify with those jobs. They were a means to an end. I knew there was more. I knew it. And so if you don't know who you are, whatever you're struggling with right now, it can cause you to question yourself and live in doubt. As you heal your self-esteem, you'll begin to know that you are more than your present circumstances. You are more than your past pain. You are more than what the teacher, the coach, uh, your friend, your ex, you're more than what your fr past friend said. You're more than what your bank account says. You're more than what the doctor says. You are more than that. But if you don't believe that with every fiber of your being, you become a victim. You become a victim. You become very vulnerable. So this is why it's so important that whatever you, whatever follows I am, 
I am victorious. I am a winner. I am worthy. I am lovable. I am intelligent. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am abundant. I am priceless. I am, I am, I am. Whatever follows those two words goes before you and it will not return void. It will come right back and become your identity. Now you can fake it. You could act like one thing, but if on the inside you don't feel worthy, if on the inside you're doubting yourself, if on the inside you still feel like a victim, if on the inside you still feel like nobody loves you, if on the inside you feel like God doesn't love you, if on the inside you feel like I am just a loser, that is your identity. You're not going to be able to take off. And if you do take off, you crash and burn. You crash and burn. The relationship will be short-lived. The business, the ministry will be short-lived. Whatever it is that you're going for will have a short life because eventually your identity will come through because of your behavior, because of your lack of boundaries, because of not trusting yourself or not trusting God, because of putting yourself in harm's way. This is why your self-esteem is so important. As a self-esteem doctor, I help people to understand that when I talk about self-esteem, I'm not talking about ego. I'm not talking about pride. I'm talking about guarding your heart. I'm talking about knowing who you are culturally, who you are in your family, knowing who you are in God, knowing who you are based on what you have learned and experienced and sacrificed over time. See, I know who I am. I didn't always know that. I didn't. I used to be a doormat. I used to be a people pleaser. I used to live with a lot of doubt. I used to um, sabotage my success sometimes. I used to be a wallflower. I used to be very introverted. I used to uh, question my abilities. All of that. All of that. I did. And the more I studied, the more I helped other people, the more I was open to feedback from others, the more I took risk, the more I began to listen to my inner voice the more I began to listen to God, the more I began to trust myself, the more I began to believe in myself. Um, I, I love sign language, and I want to show you what the word believe me, how you say believe in sign language. And there may be other ways, but this is the form of sign language that I learned. And I was taught that believe is this, that you hold, you point to your mind, and then you do this. So in other words, whatever you're thinking, you are married to it. Whatever you're thinking, you're holding on to it. That is belief. Like if you believe, you, if you think you are done and you, you're married to that and you hold on to that, that's your identity. If you believe that you are a winner, that you are victorious, you think that and you hold on to it, that's your identity. If you believe that God loves you and God has angels and guides around you, if you believe that you are worthy of respect, that you are worthy of opportunities, if you believe that and you hold on to it, that's, that is what shapes your identity. So my friend, my question to you today is, what is your identity? Who do you think you are? Where are you trying to go and soar? Don't crash and burn. Soar. Get to another height. Get to another level based on your identity. Are you a leader? Are you an influencer? Yeah. Are you a team player? Are you a winner? Are you loyal? Are you dedicated or are you sensitive? Are you easily offended? Do you feel weak? Do you feel alone? What is your identity? Are you resilient? Are you strong? Are you magnificent? 
Are you one of a kind? Are you competent? What's your ID? Where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to soar? You cannot get on an airplane without ID. This is Jewel Diamond Taylor. Thank you for watching and thank you for sharing this video message today. God bless you and stay in the light.